Welcome to St. Teresa Church. I'm Father Brian again, the pastor on behalf of Father Philippe Dijon, Father David Leopold, and Deacon Jerry Lambert. We welcome you back to our beautiful church built in 1962 and dedicated to our great patron of St. Therese. Two days away is the first Sunday of Advent. And Advent, of course, is a very important season in the church year. This goes back to the early centuries of the church, the importance of preparation for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. No more important preparation could there ever be than to meet our Lord and Savior himself. And so we think about that, you know, we think about um, how do I prepare? The word Advent uh, comes from Latin words meaning an arrival or a hasty coming. And so that's exactly what we're preparing for, the coming of our Lord. And what we can do is take our cue from the great St. John the Baptist, who we will hear about in the Gospel on Sunday. John the Baptist was a cousin of Jesus Christ. He was a man of incredible holiness and surrendered to Almighty God. He lived in the desert, lived very simply, very ascetically, very sacrificially, all for the love of Almighty God, because he was preparing the way for the coming of our Lord. And so John the Baptist teaches us a lot about the purpose of sacrifice and the purpose of placing our Lord at the center. As John the Baptist even said at one point, he must increase and I must decrease. And that would be a great theme as we go through Advent. How can I make the Lord Jesus Christ, his wisdom, his love, increase in my life and my own personal ego, my own personal whims and desires to decrease in subordination to all that the Lord wants of me? You know, we, and this is an important point because John the Baptist is such a central figure, and then we compare that to today's celebration of Christmas in the secular world. We'll see Christmas movies, Christmas shows, and hear a lot of music that doesn't even mention the name Jesus Christ. While some of it's not bad, it, it, ultimately we do have to keep Christ at the center because not only is that the point of Christmas to begin with, there, there would be no Christmas without Jesus Christ. Number two, it's what gives the greatest joy and fulfillment to the human heart. So what can I do, you know? What can I do is, number one, you know, think of Lent. It really, Advent's like a mini Lent. And what it is, I make a personal sacrifice. I give up something for the love of the Lord. I'll say some extra prayers. I'll do extra Bible readings each and every day. I'll go to daily Mass, all right? One great thing for the family to do together is the beautiful Advent wreath uh, devotion. We have it at the dinner table. We read, we read particular prayers um, as we enter into new weeks of Advent, you know, one purple, two purple, then the rose, then the fourth purple candle, and then ultimately it's Christmas Day. And so that brings the family together and it reminds us of what this whole season is all about. But not just a reminding as a psychological device, but also opening the heart to God's grace so that he can nourish us, strengthen us, and heal us in the way that only Jesus Christ can, his whole purpose for coming into the world. So one thing to think about too is that it's almost like, you know, really, every time we come to Mass, it's like a mini-Advent. You know, what am I doing? I need to fast before Mass. I need to have the right disposition. I should go to Mass thinking about our Lord, thinking about the readings. I sit through Mass, and I go through a mental uh, preparation by listening to the readings, participating in the prayers of the Mass, and then the culminating point of the Mass is to receive Holy Communion, to receive the true flesh of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So in a certain sense, every Mass is very much the template, or it should be the template, for how we live out Advent in preparation for the coming of Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the flesh. We prepare for tests, right? We prepare for moving. We prepare for job interviews. Those are critical preparation uh, periods in our life. The most critical preparation of all is Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the more and more that we focus on that during Advent, we can have fun with friends. There's no question about that, but nevertheless, where is Jesus Christ at the center of each day? And how can I give that Christmas joy its greatest, its greatest power by putting Christ front and center every day for my family, for myself, and to be an instrument of his love and life of all others? We take our cue from John the Baptist. He must increase and I must decrease. And the more that our Lord's love and wisdom increases in my life, and the more that my ego and selfishness decreases, therein lies the power of God's grace and the salvation of my soul to follow him into eternal life. God love you.